Tonight, the head of the NAACP is joining a rally in Minneapolis to call attention to the fatal shooting of an unarmed black man by a police officer. Dean Reynolds is there. All this week, anger and frustration have surfaced in a Minneapolis neighborhood with a long record of racial grievances. We're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. We applaud the young people for disrupting business as usual. Nikima Levy Pounds is president of the Minneapolis NAACP. Because what's happening with the police department is one aspect of what causes this to be a tale of two cities. The worst of times if you're black and the best of times if you're white. The demonstrations were prompted by the police shooting of an unarmed black man, 24-year-old Jamar Clark, on Sunday night. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to follow the... the turmoil spilled over into the city council chambers this morning. Please remove this lady. And you don't even want to hear what the community has to say. Janae Harto is the Minneapolis police chief. I am surprised that we continue to have such anger and frustration and not as much movement forward. The police union says Clark resisted when confronted during a domestic disturbance call and tried to take an officer's gun. Others who say they were there said Clark was on the ground with his hands cuffed. The officers involved have been put on administrative leave while surveillance video at the scene is being reviewed. Protesters claiming a cover-up are demanding its release. Are you concerned about rumor mongering in connection with this incident? I'm absolutely concerned with misinformation. With demonstrations like this one behind me continuing, the Minneapolis police have turned over the investigation to the state police, Scott, and the FBI is looking into the case as well. Dean Reynolds in Minneapolis for us tonight. Dean, thanks.